Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about beta oxidation of saturated fatty acids like we have a palmitic acid. We have already seen from the synthesis of fatty acid and the activation of fatty acid in cytosol, fatty acids are finally transported to mitochondrial matrix through a carrier system if the fatty acids are long chain or directly into matrix if small chain fatty acids are being transported. So now once Inside the mitochondrial matrix fatty acyl COA is oxidized with oxidation of beta carbon from where it gets its name that is the beta oxidation of fatty acids. Long chain fatty acids are subjected to a repeated four step process that is oxidation then hydrolysis then again oxidation and finally the thiolysis which separates the molecule into two elements or two molecules. And in the series of reaction it removes two carbons from the chain successively. Now let's see in detail how this beta oxidation of saturated fatty acid occurs within the mitochondrial matrix. The first reaction that occurs in beta oxidation is the oxidation. First of all, we start with the acyl COA molecule present in mitochondrial matrix. It has got both alpha as well as beta carbon present in its chain as you can see in the structure of molecule. On that molecule, oxidation occurs and we get this molecule called alpha beta enoyl COA which has lost basically the two hydrogens at alpha and beta position. And the lost two hydrogens are resurrected by oxidizing agent FAD in the form of FADH2. The oxidation reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme acyl COA dehydrogenase. Then after that on enoyl COA molecule hydrolysis occurs which is the addition of water molecule and from this reaction we get a molecule called 3-hydroacyl COA molecule. As you can see the beta carbon has now hydroxyl group attached to it which is donated from water via hydrolysis and this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called enoyl COA hydratase. And the third step of beta oxidation is again the oxidation, now this time on 3 hydroxyacyl COA molecule. And here the oxidizing agent at this time is NAD plus rather than FAD, which we have seen in the first oxidation reaction. So here the NAD plus receives hydride from hydroxyl group present on beta carbon, thereby giving us a ketone molecule called beta ketoacyl COA. Now beta carbon is all devoid of any hydrogen atoms and is oxidized. And the oxidation reaction here is catalyzed by an enzyme called hydroxyacyl COA dehydrogenase. Finally, the last step of reaction is the thiolysis. Thiolysis, we know, is a reaction with thiol that cleaves one compound into two. And here, the beta ketoacyl COA is cleaved down into two molecules with acyl COA and acetyl COA. Like we see here, beta ketoacyl COA in presence of thiolase enzyme and COA molecule gives up two molecules here. One is fatty acyl COA, other one is acetyl COA. The series of reaction has yielded a fatty acyl COA that has been shortened by two carbons and one molecule of acetyl COA. This acetyl COA is a molecule that participates in many biochemical reactions. Its main function is to deliver the acetyl group to the citric acid cycle or we can say a Krebs cycle to be oxidized for energy production. So this is all about beta oxidation of fatty acids. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.